A huge fight. Invicta, the champ, Tanya Avenger. The title was taken away by a bad call, in my opinion. There was only one thing that could happen with this, and that was for it to be overturned, a rematch. It was the only way. Um, I'm Dan Cox. I'm joined by the champ herself, Tanya Avenger. Tanya, man, there's so many things I want to ask you, but first of all, how are you feeling? What's going on? Well, good, man. I, I'm happy to see something that uh, changed that was wrong in the first place. And you know, a lot of hate lately, but I think it's like just people that don't understand the rules. They don't understand. They're probably not even athletes. They don't understand and respect the sport as a as a general. Yeah. You know, and and I don't know. It, I mean, it's crazy, but um. I'm excited that we're going to go back and hopefully can run it again and uh, get right back in there. Well, what people have to understand is that this is what happened, you know, in a real quick version was you were caught in a submission, an arm bar, you're able to get to your feet, you're able to put your foot on your opponent's face and apply pressure. There was no kicking, no stomping. It's a legal move, 100% legal. You actually did the same move with the same referee in 2013, and you went on to win the fight. So this is not something that is even even close to being a question. I mean, it, it is legal beyond a doubt. The ref made a bad call, and you know we all we all were screaming and yelling. And to you know, you had said something to me before, Tanya, that really spoke, and that was. This is about the sport of MMA and women's MMA and how much the women have had to go through uh, to continually prove, and, and they seem to get punished more than the men. And this was really going to set a precedence in the sport. Yeah, I think it's good for the sport. I think that, you know, all this time, uh, everyone that's been responsible has been from the fighters from day one. We've been getting fined, suspended, and everything, and then the promoters start to have to step up and... and and be responsible for the contracts and their decisions. And so I think now it's only time to like set that bar for everybody involved in the sport, including the commission and the referees. And I think that the fact that they were able to step up and say, you know, yeah, we, we made a mistake or, or the fight, you know, the referee made a mistake. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, we've come a long way in the sport. I think that's great. And, uh, you know, I, I can't ask for more. I, I think that people are looking at the wrong thing. They're like, oh, well, she's still tapped. Well, no, shit, I tapped, but the submission was given to her. It wasn't there. I, I went knee on face. I got my elbow out. Then I stand up and I separate the rest of the way. That's it. Yep. That's, I do that move all the time. And it works 100% of the time. So, you know, there's not much I can say beyond that, you know. I, well, it, it, it happened, happened, and, and that was it. I don't, I don't, you know, the whole thing about you getting grief, it, that always blows my mind because you were the only one that didn't say shit about it. I mean, to be honest, you know, I was screaming from here. I wrote a letter about it, for God's sake. You know, this is this is not just a regular fight at the corner, a small promote. This is a title fight. This is life-changing. I mean, that's why I got that much coverage, too, you know, because of the level of fight it was, because it was such a big deal, and, and I think that, who knows how many times it's happened, you know? Yep. Um, I think the sport is growing and everybody makes the mistakes and this and that. And it just comes down to taking responsibility. And, and we're affecting people's careers now, not just their their everyday little hobby on the side and stuff. You know, people, this is a full-time job for some people. So, you know, it's, it's something that needed to happen and it was time. Exactly. And, and again, this is not to smash the reps. I mean, we both, we both know the refs got, it's a tough job. And... Sometimes you have to make a decision in a split second, and we're humans. We make mistakes. In this case, it wasn't a split second decision. This went on for a period of time where he had plenty of time to understand the position, what you were doing to defend, and he made the wrong decision. And listen, I mean, again, I don't want to slam the guy. He, he made a mistake, and you have to be responsible. Exactly what you said. You're responsible. If you make a mistake and you're caught in an arm bar, you have to tap. He made a mistake. It was overturned. I, I think I think this is a great day in the sport of MMA because it's really brought attention to the referee and the rules and knowing your job. You know, these guys have to they've gotta be able to 
qualify to, to take their test, to get their license. It should be a multiple time I mean, thing. These, these, uh, states that don't have permissions. I mean, so, I mean, it's not like our school is so far ahead, but it's just nice to see that it's start to change. Like, we're right in that era where everything is changing and, and sport is growing so fast that it, it just, it's, it's just, uh, it's amazing. It's evolving. It's evolving. It's, it's evolving. amazing. I go back three years, Tanya, and I look at women's MMA and then I look at it right now and, it, and it's shocking. And for those people that don't know, Tanya, how long have you been the champion in Invicta? I don't know. <laughs> Since I found out, I don't know how that was. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're talking years. What is it? It's over five years you've been defending the belt, right? No, no. I've, I've been on a win streak for five years. That's what it was. But, I mean, then you're not some new goose that jumped in and all of a sudden is crying about a loss. I mean, again, you didn't really say anything, and I was really yeah. wanting you to speak up. But I'm glad that you I mean, took. I knew, I knew what had happened, and, and you know, I told the right people, and I got the paperwork, and I filled it out, and, and you know, I, I, I get a message where she she said, you know, I have a lawyer to uh, to win this and get it overturned, and, and that's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. If it was the opposite way around, she would she would want justice on her part. I mean, that's oh, just yeah. ridiculous. Yep. And this ain't a real fight. This is my career. This is my legacy. There's no way you're going to take my belt yeah. for a mistake. For a mistake. That yeah. even, so I should get punished and I don't get my belt because I'm the only one that's going to get punished for it because everybody feels bad for her. What about all the stuff I lost? You know what I mean? So that's right. I don't really care. People just people kiss my ass. Well, see, that's... <laughs> but you know what, though, Tony? I know it, but that's the thing, though, is it's not, it's not a problem with your opponent. It's not a problem with you. It, the rest decided the fight. He's the one that, that picked the winner. Bottom line. Yeah. You guys had nothing to do with it. I'm, yeah, me, I didn't do nothing. Nope. I mean, my opponent didn't do nothing. It sucks. The whole situation sucks. But, hey, man, she's getting extra pay there. We, we That's right. That. So, I mean, that's what right. we can really do that, man. She got a winning, winning payday right, right there in that fight. So, I mean, come back and make some more money. Let's see well, what you're everybody, that's, there you go. And that's where I was going is, Obviously, there has to be the rematch. I mean, there's no way there's not going to be a rematch immediately. Now, I don't know how fast Invicta can pull it off, but, you know, I know you want a rematch. I, I want to get back in January. I remember in that car, I mean, I mean, I'm going to get back in the car and I'm going to get back in the car and I'm going to get back in the car. Obviously, I don't think I'm above anybody else, you know. So um, I just want to be on the side and fight as soon as possible. But I think the fans really, not only do they want to see it, they deserve it. You have dedicated fans. As we said earlier, the sport of uh, WMMA has come so far, and now we're at a point where it's literally historical. The fight was historical because of the, the bad mistake, the decision by the ref, and it was historical because the people that needed to step up that usually you don't see yeah. step up, they did it. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed mm -hmm. by that right there. That, as an optimist and a fan, that means a lot to me. Well, I'm, I'm just happy to see it done, and, and we'll go from here. And, and um, you know, man, what a roller coaster, though, right? <laughs> It is, isn't it crazy? But you wouldn't have it any other way. Now I can hear the fights in the background, and I gotta ask, who's who's winning? Who's fighting? Who's fighting right now? Brandon Morocco and Morocco and Brandon Morocco and Bennett. Bennett, yep. Yeah, who's winning? Well, you love you love the the view of the person that doesn't fight, right? So what? that's what we dealt with the last couple of weeks. So hey, um, listen, Tanya, I don't want to hold you up, man. It's going to be a great night. I'm I'm happy for you, but also you. I want people to understand something that this is sub this is a on your record now. This shows up on your record. 
And I asked you earlier, did, did you lose the belt? Did you physically not have your belt? And um, my opinion on this period is it is not your opponent's fault. She, she deserves whatever she got, which was a no contest. Okay, she 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 can't say she was ever the champ. I mean, I hope that can't be in the record books. But you're coming back. You you put this behind you. Um, you did not dog the refs. You you took the class road like always, Tanya. You man, you represent the sport better than anyone I know. And um, it's an honor for me. It literally is. I'm I'm very proud and uh, I'm so happy this happened. And I'm ready for the rematch. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with you. Amen, man. Well, listen, enjoy the fights, Tanya. And tell everybody that I said hello. And, hey, we're going to be revealing a few new things on the next show. I'm looking forward to it. We should have a lot of fun. So, hey, for Fight TV, for Meyer Pugilist Entertainment, I'm Dan Cox. She's Tanya Evinger. I'm a host. She's a champ. Boy, like always. We'll see you next time.